Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel. And today we're going to take a look at two webcams, compare them, and pick one. Okay, so if you've watched my first week of videos, you've noticed I've had a serious frame drop issue. What I've been doing is connecting my iPhone to OBS through um, an application called DroidCam. And that works pretty well, except for I have frame drops constantly, and it's really annoying. It's a really cool technology that I'm able to do that wirelessly. I'm, I was hoping that this was going to work because the camera on the iPhone is pretty great. Um, no, it's not a DSLR camera, but it works pretty good. So today, uh, I'm going to take a look at two cameras I found on Amazon. Uh, they're both webcams that are supposedly 4K with Sony sensors and all of that jazz. And I'm going to compare them here today. Um, and then I'm going to pick one and uh, return the other one because I didn't know which one to choose. They're both in similar price ranges. Um, like a, a chip. Um, and they may not work for me. And I may need to keep using this. But I figured you might be in the same situation as me. Um, before we get started, you know the deal. Like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. It's going to help me out um, and keep me going to make more, confident, more content for you. So the first camera I have is this DepthTech 4K webcam. This guy right now on Amazon is $69.00. And then I have this AngeTube conference webcam 4K. It also says it has a, sen a Sony sensor. Um, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug both of them into my laptop, uh, set both of them up, and um, set them up, and we'll just go back and forth um, through OBS and see what we get. I'll do a little bit of an unboxing. If you're not excited about unboxing, um, I'm just going to just quickly walk through what's in there, which is, you know, a camera and a cable. But for those of you who care, um, we'll go through that. Okay, so real quick, what's in this box is um, these random like things. I guess you can personalize your webcam. I guess you're thinking kids are using this. I don't know. You got that. You got the camera. Okay. And the other cool thing is, besides the camera with this depth stack 4K, is you get a little tripod. Pretty cool. So that's all that's in the box and some other paper and stuff. Just so you can see. Nothing special. Um, now... This AngeTube conference webcam 4K says it's got all kinds of stuff. It also, you might be shocked to know that there's a camera in here. The thing that um, made me want to look at this one as well is it has a it has a remote that you can use with the camera, which I thought was pretty cool. It does not come with a tripod. So if you need a tripod more, or maybe that's already made up your mind, but there we go. It, uh, this also comes with a USB-C, um, USB-A adapter, um, which is pretty cool. So let me set these up and we'll go from here. Okay, so let's quickly <laughs> check out each of these um this camera is frame skipping like crazy this is my iphone connected through the droid cam situation this is the depth tech webcam and uh, it's focus is interesting it's um, obviously, I haven't messed with the color too much on it, um, but it doesn't seem to work right for me. 
if I don't have it in some sort of 4x3 format. It seems to go, I work in 4x3 even though I tell you I can do 16x9 16 by 9 resolutions. This was as best as I get. This resolution is 2048 by 1536 at 30 frames. Um, and it's not the greatest. I mean, I can make that. Okay, now we're in we're in a pretty decent range. I'm a little pink here. And I mean, I could work with that, but it's four by three. Okay, it's workable. I don't know if you can tell that it's, I mean, it's, it's workable. So that's the Depths Tech 4K. Anytime I did anything other than these four by three resolutions, it was having a hard time and I was frame skipping. Um, you can see that autofocus happening right now. And when I turn it off, let me turn off the autofocus and see what happens here. Auto focus, where are you? Focus, automatic continuous. Okay, so that's off now. And, ooh, ooh. So, and that's without the autofocus on. So it's workable, it's doable. I'm not getting frame skipping. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo. Um, so that's the depth deck. Uh, what I do like about what I do like about it is um, form factor's great. Uh, the cable's really long, and I can do this. Like, no, this isn't this isn't you know super high quality, you know, amazing camera, 4K, you know, DSLR mirrorless camera with an amazing lens, um, with a sweet bokeh effect behind me or blurry effect behind me. No, I'm not getting any of that, and I wasn't expecting to get that. But I am a little disappointed in order to get the frame rate that I want that I've got to do this guy. Now, let me move to the Ainge tube and we'll go from there. So here it is. It's obviously a wide angle lens, um, which is great. It's a wide angle lens. Um, and the beautiful thing is I've got this remote here. Ooh. And it allows me to zoom in, which is pretty great. So I could zoom in here, and I'm also in the right resolution that I like. I mean, maybe the square thing would work great for, you know, when I'm doing, showing my desktop or whatever, but I'd like the option, please, to choose between either or. Uh, let's see here on the color space. Um, this one, I, it says I can go up to a higher frame rate but this is working okay when i'm here it seems like i don't have the color quite right let me see here it's a little it's a it's a little green you know who wants green you know okay so you know it's workable, and every time you make an adjustment, now I'm going to have to zoom back in, which is okay. But this is workable, and I'm not frame skipping. Uh, this remote is great. Uh, also, the cool thing about it is it has a USB-A to USB-C type adapter, and it works great. That's what I have this Ainge tube plugged into right now. Um, I can work with this. This is totally workable. I got the best color from my iPhone camera, go figure. Um, and I'm sure with some more tweaking, I'm gonna be able to do this. And I'm really thrown off by these three cameras and which one to look at. I need like a tally light for me to see which camera I'm supposed to be looking at right now. But hey, this is workable. Um, this is actually more than workable. Between the two here, um, man, let me put them both up again. And, you know, the depth deck is, you know, the current settings are a little softer. But, you know, I don't like that it it's struggling to give me the opportunity to do it in 
uh, 16 by 9 or 16 by 10 format. Uh, and this Ains tube just allows me to zoom in or zoom out so I get wide angle and uh, the, the right resolution that I'd like. Okay, I'm cutting into my video because I've spent some more time with both of these cameras and learned a couple more things and realized I didn't even show you guys the audio capabilities of each of these devices. So quickly, I was able to let me switch over to the Depths Tech. This is the Depths Tech one, um, and this is 1920 by 1080. So I was able to get it um, to be that resolution size, but man, it feels zoomed in, right? I mean, it's super zoomed in, and you know, now on the Ange Tube one. This is actually, it zoomed in as far as it'll go. So if I hit the button, this is the wide angle, and then it kind of comes in a little more. So it gives you an idea of what is going on as far as that goes. But I was able to get it out of that 4x3 in the 1920 by 1080 but man, that is close. I'd have to put this pretty far away for me to use. Um, so let's do this as well. Let me put them side by side so you can see. Uh, side by side. The one on the left is the inch tube. The one on the right is the depth tech. And so now we're going to do a quick test of audio. This is my USB audio microphone. One, two, one, two. This is the depth tech, depth tech microphone on the webcam. One, two, one, two, three. This is the inch tube. Microphone testing one, two, one, two, three. And that's to give you an idea of what the audio sounds like. The winner of this battle is obviously the Ainge Tube. I think I'll be using this and seeing if I can use it, see if I can get some decent quality, do some more tweaking on it to get it to look pretty decent. But that frame skipping that I've been getting, like right now, if I even uh, go to my... Let me show you what it's doing on my phone camera right now. That's not pause. That's just not working. So uh, what I've been having to do, what I've been having to do is just sit there and wait for it to stop doing that. And then I can do it. But it's all good. At least this way, you guys will get an opportunity to see me without... Uh, you may not even know who Max Headroom is, but it was Max Headroom-like. Uh, I'm not doing that. So, you stuck through this whole video. I'm surprised. Only because, not because I'm not giving you good content, but just because you have your time is valuable. And I appreciate you taking the time to walk through. Maybe you're interested in one of these two cameras, and now you can see. Maybe you love the 4x3 format and like the color and the softness a little better on the depth stick. Well, now you know which one to get. Um, for me, I like the Ains tube. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it, and hopefully at some point I'll be able to work up enough to get a better camera set up later on in the future. But either way, this is gonna work for me. Um, I'm gonna put links to both of these in the description below. Um, links to Amazon. Uh, they were $69 and $79 respectively. $69 with the depth tech. $79 was the Ainge tube. And um, if you use those links, um, they're going to be affiliate links, so they don't cost you anything more. But it gives me a little, um, little kickback, um, so I can, you know, not be buying $60 and $70 cameras. <laughs> trying to do a professional YouTube. Just saying. Um, thanks for your time. Like and subscribe. See you later.